you know, um, you started writing about, of course, for those that don't know, you started writing about Lady Fatima first, and then when, you know, the name Zainab would pop up every time you were researching, you decided to write about Lady Zainab. But, you know, how vital is her role in all of this, you know, whether it's, we spoke about Abbas's stance on the day of Ashura, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, you know, Imam al Hussein speaking to Allah, or, you know, his martyrdom. You know, without Zainab, we, Karbala would have been very different to us. So she played a very important role in that. And how, how important do you think that role is through your research? Oh, I think her role was crucial. On a number of levels. Firstly, because she was the sister of Al Hussein. Mm. It meant he had somebody with him all the time who he knew intimately and, and identified with. Mm. And anybody who's been through suffering knows what it means to have a family member with you standing by your side. It makes all the difference to have a familiar face. So on a purely human level, she fulfilled an important motherly function for, for her brother. But more than that... I mean, in a sense, everything after the death of Al Hussein, for a while, rested on her shoulders. She's the first one to begin to talk about why her brother did what he did. She does it in the streets of Kufa, within days of his death. She does it in the court of Yazid. She all, I mean, in the famous Ihtijaj, uh, the protest. She also, in a sense, does it in the court of Ibn Ziyad, mm -hmm. in her dialogue with him. So, so she is the first majlis, in a sense, the first remembrance of, of Karbala. And it's a remembrance that is going to be passed on, whether it's through the dreams or through the sermons she preached or through the words. It's going to be passed on until our generation. We are living, if you, say, if you like, we are standing on the shoulders of Lady Zainab because we are passing on to each generation what she began to pass on from the very beginning. And she did so with the, with the articulate speech of her own father who was known to be articulate she spoke with the tongue of ali and there are texts that say this that she she mm. she, she was like her father speaking um she argued so powerfully against ibn ziyad and, and yazid that she silenced them basically she reduced them to silence in the end they could easily have killed her easily i mean ziyad ibn ziyad tried to was, was going to was going to kill uh, Zen al-Abidin, and we know that when she addressed him, he got very angry with her, and the Arabic says he had to began to have thoughts about her. In other words, that he was going to kill her. But he stepped back from that because she was so persuasive and so powerful in her speech. So I think that she is so deeply enmeshed in the Karbala story that you could never, ever tell the story with integrity if you missed her out. She has to be part of it.